What's the deal, Scott McNeil? This is Theo once again back in the ring with the one-eyed stapler crab freak machine that is Generations World. Now, Will's one of those guys who's been criminally underrepresented in cold hard plastic. For the longest time, we just had to deal with repaints and repaints and barely acceptable basics figures and repaints. And for a while, the best way to get a world that actually looked like Will was to grab a tomahawk and a shockwave and Frankenstein one up yourself. But not anymore, Chuckles, because this is your actually for real this time Generations World, and it's a bit of a curveball. So yeah, this figure's almost completely faithful to the awesome weird G1 world, who, like a lot of the pre-86 TF lineup, was assimilated from a cool Japanese robot toy called Takatoku Dorvac 155 Ovalon Gazette, which was produced in the West as World by Hasbro under license from a company called Bandai which is why Well looks so weird and almost not like a Transformer at all. But the reason Well's got a lot of people confused and or irritated is that recently the Generations line's been going more for a Matumti look, and Well's awesome in Matumti. So a lot of people were looking forward to a figure that was a bit closer to that crazy old Gethon meth rather than the original ski-footed Robodrone. So apparently G1 accuracy isn't what the fans want now? Wouldn't want to be Hasbro right now. So watch your back in there, Slim Jim. Clearly Well's an extraordinarily skinny fellow with long slender legs, long slender arms, and a long slender bod. Big yes please on the colours. I'm a suck for a blue bot, and this guy's rocking a scrumptious two-tone combo. Like that time Thomas the Tank Engine signed for Man City. And the plastic's some of the foxiest I've seen in ever. 2012 feels like a long time ago. Sort of love the arms with their impressive reach, spectacular flexitude, and creepily tentaculoid semi-hands. Clamp, clamp, kabam! Shoulder joints are pretty double slick with the neat tilty rotaty bicep bits and the torso ball joints. Body's a pretty standard cocktail of cockpit and kibble. Cock pibble? And the head's mintily monocular. Check it out, it's somehow simultaneously curvy and spiky, with like an optional neck. And this weird awesome headset thing here that turns off the l l l l l l l piping. These legs Stem. Epic stems, bruv. With like relatively ditty thighs, monstrous shins, and these tripod humunga hooves. And these are apparently a bit of a sore point. I mean, they've needlessly got these double jointed stalks that I've heard a few horror stories about, so I'm kind of terrified to fumble with the upper ones. And that's kind of fine, because how many knees do you knead? And yes, if the chicken leg thing really bothers you, you can just flip them around. Well, they've then got these tiny blue single toed brundlefly feet to deal with. But like, why bother? What's the problem with chicken legs? <coughs> anyway, one place where well definitely blows it is with the weapons, which is a total drag even if you're not bothered about him being the trigger happy lost light mentalist. So what you got? You got a minigun, the old G1 finger puppet, a t-shirt cannon, and like a knife rack? I mean you can change them around so it is kind of fun, but it's like Springer got a killer double barrel friction fire cannon and a wicked sword. And even the little fella's got transforming minicons, so this handful of nondescript, no effort, unpainted plastic just ain't gonna work bro. But look at this! Sticker sheet! Total nostalgia boner over here, ladies. It's so cool to have the option to Autobot this guy up or keep him all Bandai peachy. And I really appreciate that they're not too obtrusive. Like, a lot of them are mostly clear and quite small, although that does make them insanely fiddly. Somehow the rose-tinted glasses don't have quite the same effect when they throw into such sharp focus how much of a flam-fisted, chubby clums box you've grown into. But fat fingers aside, Will's robot mode is a decently refreshing Cerulean Slenderman Cyclops Mantis. <laughs> I really love how Will gets an official girl walk mode. It's like they knew we were gonna do it anyway, so they just made it a thing. Although, hello, Ped. Yes, hello, and please don't call me that. <laughs> Weirdly easy transformation, but it's kind of nice. It feels really close to that old G1 spirit of like, this goes here, that goes there, boom. And the, uh, copter mode is... Good. I mean, it's almost there. The cockpit is incredible. Canopy opens up, and you got like a little seat in there and that. Cannot fault the detail. Totally love all the little touches and doodads, and he's got rivets for miles. Check out the friggin' rocket booster. Rotor's got more spin than Malcolm Tucker, but they kind of curve weirdly upward like an elaborate techno curtsy. But yeah, I know. You've got the thighs up front, totally not contributing to the illusion and actually looking super dreadful. They don't look good. The silver just stands right out and they leave a massive gap. You can see right through it. It's just a real shame that these legs don't stand up to scrutiny. I mean, it's such a waste. Also, could I possibly get some landing gear up in here? Anything. You've just got to make do with these tragic little stand skis. And yeah, they're so small, aha, that's funny. It looks 
bad. But I can't possibly say that Whirl's a naff toy. No way! He feels great, the plastic's beautiful, the robot mode's tons of fun, but as a helicopter he just doesn't quite make the chop. It also doesn't help that there's been some absolutely screaming heliformers recently, some of which even cram in a whole extra legit vehicle mode and still come out looking better than this one. Raise your game. So overall, I do like Will. I think he's a nice man, but he's not for everybody. He's a deeply freaky robo dude with a fairly questionable alt mode, so I guess he's not as safe or better as some of the other smashes that have shown up recently. Gosh, we are spoiled, aren't we, that a toy as unique and interesting as this could be considered a gamble. But think about it, with the whole G1 versus IDW thing, this must have been a nightmare for Hasbro. It's like, what do you want? So they gave us this, more than adequate, basically G1 faithful figure with some twisted knees and slightly rounded out jowls, and they're like, there, happy? Yes? Okay, I better bizounce. Big ups to my boys at Kapow, check out the channel if you can be bothered, and stay sexy.